where there seems to be no way. Our God makes it possible. With him there is never no way. There is never any no way. Where there seems to be no way. He makes it impossible because he is the God of the impossible. The Bible says he makes rivers in the deserts. Oh, come on, put your hands together for this wonderful, glorious God that we serve. Yes, Lord Jesus, you are glorious. You are wonderful. You are the almighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know if we didn't have... There, there, there are times I just want to go on praising the Lord and worshiping Him. But we're not going in that direction tonight. God bless you richly. You may be seated. Tonight we want to invite some very special guests here with us. There are 24 persons visiting from Guyana. Christ Community Church up in Bartica. 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 Oh, I remember that time we visited Bartica for the first time, Jenny and I. <laughs> My dear brother Lyndon put us in a little speedboat going up the Esquibo River. The boat could only hold four people because there's a lot of provision packed on top of the boat going up this, the Esquibo. Now, if you don't know the river, it's brown and wide. And when I looked at Jenny's face, I said, oh God, what am I putting my wife through? <laughs> One hour up the Esquibo River, and when Jenny got there, she says, babes, I thought I would follow you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> but this is the end. <laughs> Never again. Well, turned out that we have been up there how many times? Four times? Three, four times? Yeah. So they are from Bartica, and uh, 24 of them, and this tonight, we have a youngster, 10 years old, who is going to come and sing for us. Now that's nice. It's nice to see young people brave enough come all the way from Bartica, take that ride on the boat. You enjoy the boat ride? You like it? You like it? It is so nice. <laughs> when rain falls, you get wet, not so? Yeah, it's not no shelter or anything. Okay, put your hands together. What's his name? For little Timothy Holder. And he's going to be singing Amazing Love. Wow. Good night, everyone. My song's entitled Amazing Love. I'm forgiven. Because you were forsaken and I'm accepted, you were condemned and I'm alive and well, your spirit is within me because you died and rose again. I'm forgiven. Because you were forsaken and I'm accepted, you were condemned. And I'm alive and well, your spirit is within me because you died and rose again. Amazing love, well, how can it be? That 
that you're my king who died for me. Amazing love, well I know it's true. And it's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. We say you are my king and you are my king. Jesus, you Amazing love, well, how can it be that you're my king who died for me? Amazing love, well, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you in all I do. I just want little Timothy to know that you were on World Wide Web singing all around the world. <laughs> you know, we see things like this on YouTube, but tonight we are blessed to have it in the right. Yeah. Uh, God bless you. And at the Crown Net, we have Pamela George. She's a Sunday school teacher, and she's going to testify of God's healing power. Come, Pamela. Hallelujah. God is good. He has done great things. He is amazing, God. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And by his stripes I'm healed. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You know, God is a great God. Hallelujah. You know, I have a son who works in the interior. And he came out last week. He said he have um, some sickness. Right? And... He said he will go today to receive medication from the doctor. And he leave and he go. But he didn't go right away. He come out on Friday. He leave and go till the Saturday. And he, he said, before he leave, I said, why are you not hurrying up? I was hurrying him up. Go for the medication because you're getting more and more weak. He said, no. I'm not going now. We're going till afternoon. I said, God, and I keep praying. I said, Lord, I need this body to get instant healing. And I believe in God today for healing. He said, you know, when I drink this medication, he go. When he drink the medication, he come back, you know. He said, um, I feel him more weak. I said, oh, my God. All right. I begin to pray. I begin to pray. He continued drinking it, drinking it, drinking it, you know. The doctor said he drank out all the medication. All right. I was there. I was studying. I was wondering. I, mm. I said, devil, in the name of Jesus, get out my face. I know God is my healer and is his healer. And God will heal him. Don't come and kick up no storm because you kick up storms last month. You won't go in and I'm going to stop you today in the name of Jesus because God has given me authority to tread upon the enemy. Hallelujah. You know, I wake up one morning, he wasn't feeling good still. He was still feeling weak. And the Holy Ghost say, sing this song. You are my healer. You are my healer. And I continue to sing the song, healing song. 
my son rise up with a speed and he run downstairs and start doing all the yard work. What he didn't do for months, what he couldn't do for weeks. And I praise God because he is almighty God. He is my strong tower. He is my deliverer. He is my healer. And I know that God can heal because he do it more than once. He do it twice. And this is the third time I've experienced God in my son's day life. Both of my son's life, God has bring healing to them. And I want to thank God because I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. I have the victory in the name of Jesus. He is a mighty God. He is my strong tower, the lifter of my head. I can lift my head up the hill. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. God is a great God. He can heal. You just believe him. He can heal you tonight. If you need healing tonight, God can heal you. You just call upon his name. Use the word of God and you will see coming true for you. Hallelujah. Great is our God. Thank you, Jesus. You sure you don't want to go back up there and finish preach? <laughs> you sure? We can let you preach and you finish. All right. <laughs> we have any more from Guyana? I I I I, I feel high already. <laughs> After that song and after that testimony, we could go on, you know. Any more from Guyana? You all want to hear the Guyanese tonight? No, you're coming up? I mean, after, after that kind of preaching a while ago, we, we want to hear the Guyanese tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. God is good, amen? amen? He can do it again. His power today is just the same. Amen. I want to thank God for bringing us here tonight. And the little boy and I sing not too long ago, that's my son. And let me tell you, he is a real challenge in my life. Amen. While, while I was conce conceiving him, I've gone through a lot of trials and I go through a lot of storm. And I believe God, that God will raise him up. I remember the word of God where the apostle Paul said to Timothy, go and store the gift that was in your mother and in your grandmother. And I named him Timothy after the, the same word that was there. And I thank God because I'm going to speak the word in his life. Amen. I continue speaking the word over his life. And I know that God can do anything as long as we believe. Amen. He is a God who works miracles. Amen. He's a God that's able to save and able to keep and able to keep us all in one thing, one part. He said not one of our bones will be broken as long as we trust in God. Amen. Every bone God will keep. The psalmist said he know every part that is within us, our inward parts and our onward parts. And then I was reading the word of God last night and I came into Psalms 27 when the word of God said that though one host come up against us, we will not fear because God is there with us. When the enemy come up to eat your flesh, be not afraid because God is always He's watching over us. But the psalmist said, one thing that I desire that I may believe, that I will dwell, that I may be in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Amen. I want to encourage us. It's time for us to come back to the house of God. It's time for us to return back to our first love. It is time for us to forget about who we was and just know that who we are in Christ. We are more than a conqueror. Amen. We are the redeemer of the Lord. We're going to tell ourselves that we are the head and not the tail. Amen. We are above and not beneath. We are not. People say that you are nobody. You are somebody in God. Because what God has created in us, no man can take it away from us. 
Amen. I'm not going to preach tonight. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to preach. Amen. But I want to thank God for what he has done in our life. Amen. We face a lot of trials before coming to this trip. A lot of things God has done for us on the very morning while we are at the airport. The one of the little girls, she takes sick that very morning. And it said, okay, it's either the parents go back or the whole group being canceled. We cannot fly. And we started to pray. I said, the devil is a liar. Amen. The devil is a liar. This tonight, I want to bless your hearts with this song. Amen. I want to bless your heart. I thought number one will surely be me. I, right? I thought number one will surely be me. Now I found Jesus. He is my all in all. I want to encourage you with this song. Find Jesus. We may look for a husband. You may look for a wife. But look for Jesus tonight. Amen. You may look for a friend, but look for Jesus. Amen. When you find Jesus, you can find every other thing. Amen. When you find Jesus, you can find a wife. When you find Jesus, you can find a husband. Amen. Because God will send the right person. But without Jesus, we just pick up anybody that come our way. With Jesus, when God bind you and God bring you together as one, no devil can separate you. Amen. I thought number one. We surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I thought of myself as a mighty big name. But Jesus. We always need somebody to hold our hands. Amen. We can't walk this walk by ourselves. We always need our brother's keepers. And tonight I want to encourage us. Let us be our brother's keepers. God bless you. It would seem as though they came to do this. <laughs> but that's not the case, you know. They're just visiting Trinidad. 
and because of our brother, they happened to come to this church to hear preaching. And in my office, I asked, who could do what? And I was told Timothy could sing. <laughs> and Pamela had a testimony. But look what's happening. Are you being ministered to tonight? <laughs> what I have observed is how different, how uninhibited and free they are as compared to us here in Trinidad. <laughs> Always tight. And if I were to ask for testimonies tonight, because I can't go on and preach now. I mean, the Spirit of God is using these people too mightily for me to go and preach. And if I ask for testimonies, you know, my people that are called by my, his name, <laughs> they will humble themselves one time <laughs> and start to look down. Nobody wants to come. So then we're going to just let the guy on his do it. Come on, do you have any other? I am so proud of Bartika. I'm coming back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is my provider. When we planned this trip, I took a great step of faith because I'm contracted to the government of Guyana. So I purchased my ticket. I started buying clothes and whatever, but I wasn't given the permission Anyway, I continued to do all what I had to do because I said I'm coming to Trinidad. I didn't tell my husband that I have to get permission. But I told the Lord that I am going. So, the same, the same week? Yes. No, last week. I was told that I have to go to the Ministry of Public Service. So I went in, and the secretary, she said, you have to get one million Guyana dollars. I said, Lord, I don't have that money, but I'm going to Trinidad. I didn't tell my husband nothing yet, you know. I don't think, not, I, not, I don't think nobody else on the team knew that I didn't get permission. I went back to Bartico and I started praying. I said, Lord, I thank you for favor. Favor, favor. I said, who should I go to? The lady said, if I get a title, I could lodge the title. When I went and asked for my title, my title wasn't ready. I said, but I'm still going. Anyway, I was told to call somebody in high place. And I did that. And as I'm standing here, I'm in Trinidad. My contract was wavered, and I hadn't to pay one cent. And to God be the glory. Nothing is too difficult for my God. But here the joke. <laughs> the day before I traveled, the last thing I did, I went and I purchased my suitcase. Then I told my husband. <laughs> I said, bye. I got to get this letter. Harry, and if you don't get the letter, you can't go. I said, no. I said, but I go in. The lady said, 4.30. 4.30 is knock off time. So 4.30 said, let us take a taxi and go back. When I went, she said, the office is on her way. And I got my letter. I'm in Trinidad. And I'm blessed to be here. <laughs> God is good.
<laughs> so what are we going to do now? I don't know about you, I'm being blessed. You see, when you come to church, you expect the preacher to preach and say things. But when you hear it from the congregation, and when you hear it from people who are not of this congregation testifying of the greatness and the goodness of God, it is only a fool that will say in his heart, there is no God. God is real. He is our helper in every need. There is nothing that is too hard for our God. Yet there are so many who will hear and will never embrace. But I thank God tonight for those of you in Vatica who have embraced the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where we are or where we go. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is a healer. He's a provider. He's a king, and he's everything. So, another Guyanese. What are you going to do for us? Hmm? Testify? <laughs> what, 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 what is it? Dance. Okay. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Good night. You know, um, we're from different fellowship, but we're of the one body of Jesus Christ. Tonight, we're glad that we are here. I want to say I'm working at the NIS, National Insurance Scheme. I know you have that here. Right. And one year ago, two of my colleagues died on the same day. And at that time, our supervisor and, I, and none of us were on speaking terms. But then at a funeral, the Lord said to me, on the second, we had a funeral on two consecutive days. On the second day, the Lord said to me to go and hug your supervisor. So I looked around because when God speaks, something you want to know if it's really God, right? <laughs> And I looked around, and I saw another colleague. So I took her by the hand, and I said, let's go. She will carry me. I said, let's go. And I took her, and we went up to her, and I hugged her, and I said, we cannot continue like this. And she responded, but it wasn't good. It wasn't positive. It broke my heart, what she said. I won't repeat that. And I said to, I said to her, I said, despite that, God is saying, that we must live as one. And I went off. I had to pray to deal with that spirit that was released from her, that word that was released from her tongue. And I went into fasting and prayer. Then about a week after, I was in a, in a midday fasting session and going back to work at one. When two sisters, a sister saw me, she stopped. She said, I want to see you. I said, what? She said, the same person released a word of death over your life. I said, what? And I turned back into the prayer session. And I walked straight into the, the fellowship, straight up to the altar. There was a man of God. And I told him what was told to me. And he said, what do you want? You want her to be dead? <laughs> destroyed? Gone. I got scared. Because it, the, the anointing was flowing, and you know, I said, go on. He said, okay, and he prayed. And when he finished, he told me to sow a seed. Consequently, he had to leave that same day, so I had to give somebody the seed. When I went to get the seed, the Lord said, don't do it. Funny, right? <laughs> Three times I tried to withdraw the money from the bank. The Lord said, don't do it. So I went back to work now. And had to work under this person, right? And I learned a long time how to submit to authority. Because God taught me that. So I was there going through. And the relationship was better. I began to see the fruit of what God had said to me to do. When I had to go to her and hug her. I began to see the relationship was better. And she never recommended me to act 
for her when she would go and leave. And this time, as I speak, she recommended me to act as a supervisor. And I want to give God praise and thanks for that because she is experienced and I need to learn what she knows. Come on. <laughs> I need to learn it. And so God had to bring me through that process. And the seed that I would have sown is to get rid of her, for her to leave. But God knew that I wasn't ready to make it on my own. She showed me for the first time. I've acted like three times, um, being recommended by persons above her, right? But she showed me this time everything I needed to know. And that was real. I said, God, you're awesome. You're wonderful. You're amazing. And he works in such ways that we cannot comprehend. And it has nothing to do with me. Hallelujah. It had nothing. I can't take the glory. I can't because it had nothing to do with me or anything. God just wanted to do what he wanted to do. And I want to give God praise and thanks because she's on five weeks we leave and I'm acting. I called my boss and I told him I'll be out. And he said, it's okay. You go. So I want to bless the Lord. I have a question. <laughs> Was it a pastor you were talking to? And he said, a bishop, and he said to sow a seed and then ask you what you wanted. That's what I heard. Sow the seed for this to happen. What? For her to die? For her to lose her job? Okay, darling, you didn't sow any seed, right? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> no, I, I picked up on that, you see, because there's so much going on in the church of Jesus Christ today. It leaves you to wonder. Sow a seed. What do you want? Her to die? My God. But God's way is go and hug. You see, love covers a multitude of sin. Wow. Wow. Go and sow a seed. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> They're lining up now. <laughs> Your face is familiar. Yes, you go to um, Pastor Yasin Church? Oh, okay, all right. Amen. God indeed is great. Amen? Amen. Wow, well, I'm blessed being here. Amen. I want to minister in song. I'm not the type who mostly say, you see how the sisters talk and they, but I'm going to do it in a song. Amen. Situations telling me that hope is gone, but the word of God reminded me in Him I live and move and have my being, have my being. I'm saying now, situations telling me. That hope is gone, but the word of God reminded me, in him I live and move, and have my being, have my being. I'm a royal diadem, chosen by God, I'm a royal diadem, here to the throne. Called to sing his praises, 
Worship and adore, oh, I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. He's my strength, my joy, my peace. He turned my mourning into dancing. He gives me hope for tomorrow and favor by God. Favor by God, you know I'm favor by God, cause he's my strength, my joy, my peace. He turned my morning into dancing, he gives me hope for tomorrow. I'm favor by God, favor by God. I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. Let me hear you say, I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. Come put your hands together. I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. Oh, I'm a royal diadem, royal diadem. He's my strength. My joy, my peace, he turned my morning into dancing. He gives me hope for tomorrow. Favor by God, favor by God. I'm favor by God, favor by God. You know I'm favor by God, favor by God. You know you favor by God. Favor, declare it. You know you favor by God. Favor by God. You know I'm favor by God. Favor by God. Yes, I'm favor by God. Favor by God. Oh, yes, I'm favor. Favor by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I cannot sing like that. Amen. <laughs> but I want to give God praise and thanks tonight. I want to sing, so glad to be here in Jesus' name. Hey, so glad to be here in Jesus' name. I don't know what you came to do, but I know what I came to do. I came to praise the Lord. So glad to be here in Jesus' name. So glad to be here in Jesus' name. I don't know what you came to do, but I know what I came to do. I came to praise the Lord. Take a grip, my brother. Hey, hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. Take a grip, my sister, take a grip. Hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. Take a grip, my brother, take a grip. Hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. Take a grip, my pastor, take a grip. Hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. No matter what the people of the world may say, hold on, I never let go. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm the pastor wife, amen. I do my stuff before I tell you so. Right? My name is Patricia Troyer. We're from Bartica, amen? And um, while coming, you know, the word of God was in my spirit. When David said, I was glad. When they said to me, come, let us go into the house of the Lord, amen? And I travel with the word because I know in the house of the Lord, there is joy, there is peace, there is love, there is healing, there is togetherness, amen? There's restoration, there's transformation, there's deliverance in the house of the Lord. Problem got solved in the house of, let me tell you, there's a lot of things that goes on in the house of the Lord that when you stay home, you miss it out. Amen? When you stay home, you miss out. Hallelujah. 
The word of God said, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. When we come together, something got to happen. God got to show up and show off. I'm not preaching today. I just want to share my testimony with you. Amen. I was telling the president of the team. I said I got my passport twice to renew it. I never went anywhere. When I got this one, I become like Hezekiah. That went before the Lord and laid down the letter. And I laid down my passport, Pastor. And I said, God, this passport got to get a stamp. I ain't going to renew it again without it getting a stamp. Until Tuesday before we came, down the Wednesday when my daughter came home, I said, girl, I ain't get a cent, but I go in. <laughs> Amen? I ain't get no spending money, but I go in. My son just keeping going wrong and wrong, and all he keeps saying, ma, when you go in? Ma, when you go in? You ain't giving me nothing. <laughs> right? But I just keep trusting in God. And by Sunday night, then he come up with his stuff. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I'm here tonight, right? To give God praise and thanks because he said you're the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. I love Deuteronomy. You're blessing. You're going out. You're coming in. You're going to be blessing your basket. Your cupboards are going to be filled, overflowing. Amen. You're going to have enough even to give. You will not be the borrower. You will be the lender. You will have enough to give to each other. And tonight we can stand there and prove that God is really and truly our provider. He's really and truly our healer. He's really and truly our deliverer. Amen. I never travel in a plane. But I travel. Hey, I travel in a plane, brother. I went up and I looked through the window. I see clothes. I said, God is where I pay for $5,000 to go. Amen. I said, this is what I pay for $5,000 for. I'm in the clouds. I tell him that you sound like they, they, they were rasta man that was smoking weed. We ain't smoking in the clouds. <laughs> Amen. But tonight I want to give God praise and thanks. Because he says he will never leave you nor forsake you. He's going to be with you even on to the end. Amen. He is our redeemer and our strength. He is our fortress. David said, surely the Lord is going to deliver you and strengthen you. Surely he's going to be a rock on your fortress. He said, I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Amen. Thank you. She said she's not preaching tonight. <laughs> But you're preaching. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I just love it. I just love it. Amen? We love you too. I try to keep it in because the pastor wife's supposed to behave. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to sing another song for us. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting fond memories of when I was in Guyana. <laughs> so come on, lead us in another song. And choir, get ready to take over. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, I was down in the valley, way down in the valley, when my Savior heard my feeble cry. He took me up. On the mountain, way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that never, sh excuse me, I was down in the valley, way down in the valley, when my Savior heard my feeble cry, he took me up on the mountain, way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that never shall run. Cast your burden on for he cares for you. Can 
Bless your burden unto for he care for you higher, 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 higher. Let Jesus higher, 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 higher. Let Jesus. You gotta go lower, 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 lower. Glory be to God. Some said on low, I love, low, I love, low, I love, low, I love, low, I Some said on low, I love, cast your burden, cast your burden unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your unto Jesus. For he cares for you higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher. My soul, my shield, he's the wheel in the middle of a wheel, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning stars. It, what they say, I'm gonna get on my knees and pray. I'm gonna wait, wait on Jesus till he comes. Oh, he's my rock, my soul, my shield, he's the wheel in the middle of a he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning stars. It makes no difference what they say. I'm gonna get him up. I'm gonna wait, wait on Jesus till he comes. Real, 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 real. Christ so real to me. I love him cause he gave it. Many people doubt him, but I cannot live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me, real, real, real. Christ so real to me. I love him because he gave it. Many people doubt him. But I cannot live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me, real, real.
Oh yes, when I think of Jesus and what it, there is something in my heart. Hey, you gotta rock them both. Hey, hey, rock them both. Come on, you gotta rock you. You gotta know your body parts. You gotta the word of the Lord. You gotta rock them both. Rock your boat. You gotta rock your boat. You gotta hear the word of the Lord. And your head bone connected to you. And your neck bone connected to you. And your shoulder bone connected to you. And your back bone connected to you. And your hip bone connected to you. And your thigh bone. You gotta go down, go down, go down. And your knee bone connected to you. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah, guys, stiff. And you hear the word of the Lord. You gotta rock your bones. Come on, rock them bones. You gotta rock your bones. You gotta hear the word of the Lord. And your toe bone connected to you. And your ankle bone connected to you. And your shin bone connected to you. And your knee bone connected to you And your thigh bone connected to you And your hip bone connected to you And your back bone connected to you And your shoulder bone connected to you And your neck bone connected to you And you hear the word of the Lord You gotta rock your bones, come on You gotta rock your bones You gotta rock them bones You gotta hear you gotta shake them, you gotta talk to your bones, come on, shake them bone, you gotta shake them bone, you gotta hear the word of the Lord, and your head bone connected to you, and your neck bone connected, you gotta do your body, and your shoulder bone connected to you, and your back bone connected to you, and your hip bone connected to you, and your tie, find them, find them. Knee bone and your knee bone connected to you And your shin bone connected to you And your ankle bone connected to you And you hear the word of the Lord You gotta rock them bone Rock your bone You gotta rock your bones You gotta hear the word of the Lord You gotta shake them bone Shake your bone You gotta shake them bone you gotta shake it. Come on. You gotta hear the word of the Go again. And you connect it to you. And your ankle bone connect it to you. And your shin bone connect it to you. And your knee bone connect it to you. And your thigh bone connect it to you. And your hip bone connect it to you. And your back bone connect it to you. And your shoulder bone connect it to you. Your neck bone connected to you. Hey, and you hear the word of the Lord. You gotta rock your hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory. Hey, 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 hey. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. He says he's going to keep all of your bones so not one of them is going to be broken. He's going to preserve them and keep them in perfect shape. Hallelujah, glory be to God. We need to speak life into our body parts and into our bones. And we need to call forth life into our body tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All of our body parts, they're important. God has made us and every part he put into position and place. God know how they ought to function, how they ought to be. God know the size our body parts ought to be. God knows how we ought to breathe, our heart ought to beat. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And tonight we need to speak forth life and declare life over us that every sickness and disease and infirmity, God alone. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. I tell you I didn't preach you. I want 
you. I want you to invite the people in the congregation who may be ailing with any kind of sickness that they just lay their hands on that part of their body and I want you to pray healing for them. Come on. Glory be to God. Sister Carla needs you. Sanya needs you. Hindoroboko shabarabaka sakata. Murabarabakasi and Rebecca Shamanarabaka Sondorobo Muramama Makasi and Rebecca Shanda. All of those new who are sick and need healing tonight, just come forth and we're going to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus says he was wounded for our transgression, he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Tonight, God declared to the children of Israel, I am the Lord that healed thee. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the Raka Shabaradaba, Morama Makasi, and Rebecca. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may recall him that is impossible which you for do tonight, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, church, as the anointing of God flows. In the Romo Kosi and I want you to do something tonight. Just put your hands upon the part of your body. God has given unto you the power. He says, Behold, I've given unto you the power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over all the powers of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy every work of the devil tonight. And God has given you authority. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So God has given unto you the authority. God has given unto you the power to stand and destroy every work of the devil in the name of Jesus. In the Raka Shabarabaka Soyokoto Morababaka Siandebeka Shandaya. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the Roko Shama. I want you to take one hand and lay it upon your body. We're going to put the other hand upon your body and we're going to declare war tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and greater is the Holy Ghost that is within you than the devil that is in the world in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the Roko he got a rabaka Muramanda Rabaka Siandere Shamamaka Sakataya. I send for the blood of Jesus and I cancel every assignment of the devil from in the atmosphere tonight. I drive out every death tonight with the blood of Jesus. I beat back every forces of darkness that will try to come up against us right now with the blood of Jesus. I drive out every wicked work of the devil and attack the people from in the atmosphere. And tonight, God. I declare life in the name of Jesus. You said, God, you've come to give life and life more abundantly. And tonight, God, we speak for life in every dead situation. Tonight, God, we speak for life in every person here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the room of Chama Mama, Murabarabacasiano, Ikata, need the entire team come. In the Roko Shamanaraba, Morama Mamaka Sondorobo Kosi and Derebe, Shamana Rababaka Sakata, Rababaka Sondorobo Koshandaya. He says, I am the Lord that He left thee. I am the Lord that He left thee. There is nothing too difficult for Him to do. In the Rabaka Shamanaraba, tonight I destroy every plan of the devil. Tonight I destroy every seed right now that the devil has sown in your life every seed of infirmity and destroy it with the blood of Jesus and my God let your healing flow right now 
God. Release a fresh anointing, God, that is going to break every yoke. A fresh anointing, God, that is going to destroy every fetters and set her free tonight. In the Rama, Shabarama, Mokata Rabaka. Come and put one hands on your back. You got a God of faith. In the name of Jesus, you gotta put one hands on your body. In the Ramama, Shamanda Rabaka Siandoromo, Morababaka Shatalabarara. I send for the blood of Jesus into her body right now and I destroy every infirmity. I send for the blood. I dry up every disease. I dry up every infection right now with the blood of Jesus. Every generation curse. I destroy you with the blood of Jesus every word curses that has been released over your life I destroy it with the blood and I declare a new weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment I condemn it right now with the blood of Jesus in the Rama Shama Mama Murabakasiyama the Lord said you shall live and not die you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord you want to live you got to declare that over your life I'm going to live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus Father you release a fresh anointing right now upon her life in the name of Jesus and I speak for healing in her body right now God from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet right now God in the name of Jesus nothing is impossible 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 every blood disease nothing is impossible with the Lord nothing is impossible with God every infection nothing is impossible with God in the Raka Shaba nothing nothing is impossible with God you said you will never leave us nor forsake us God but you want to be with us even unto the end God in the name of Jesus right now God I speak for the healing in this body from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet tonight help her God to experience your healing for you God flowing from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet I send for the blood into her immune system I send for the blood into her nerve cells I send for the blood into her stomach I send for the blood of Jesus into her veins I send for the blood into her heart I send for the blood of Jesus into her hands and her feet and I destroy every infirmity tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord that you heal Lord that you heal let you heal let you heal let your healing let your healing flow lift your hands I am the Lord that healed thee I am the Lord that healed thee I am the Lord that healed thee. You said healing is your children's bread. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You are the bread of life tonight. The bread of life tonight. You are the bread of life tonight. You will able to heal. You will able to deliver tonight. In the name of Jesus. My God, I let your healing virgin flow right now from the crown of our head. Oh God, to the sole of our feet. Breaking heavy yoke tonight. Limb for God. In the Rabaka Sikota Raka Shabarabakasakataya. I bring her God into your perfect will. Bring her God into your fullness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. If your ancestor, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. He's well able. He's well able. My God is well able. 
every inch of your body God is well able tonight in the name of Jesus he knows every grain of hair that is upon your head tonight he is well able he is well able to deliver he's well able to heal he's well able to sanctify he's well able to break yokes he's well able to destroy fetters and in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth release a fresh anointing upon her life tonight God that is going to destroy every fetters Lord that is going to bring every yoke tonight God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I drive out every demon of death tonight into dry places to be born and my God I speak for life from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet in the Rama Mama Shamamanda Rabakasi he cut every plan every plan of the devil tonight every plan and every plot I cancel it right now with the blood of Jesus I cancel it I send for the blood into her stomach tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth devil I command you to lose her digestive tracts I command you to lose the walls of her stomach in the name of Jesus I command you to lose her bowels I command you to lose her intestine tonight I command you to lose her liver and her lung tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God I let your healing fortune flow tonight from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Hallelujah. Hear our mama. Shama na baba. Lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands, okay. Hallelujah. I want to live. This one to live. How I go? Lift the Lord. Hear the rama. Come, sister Arlene. Hear the rama. Shama na baba. I just want to use your hands and anoint your hands. Come on. Come on. In the Rama. Shamama. Mokatoro. Shamana Rama. Shamama Mama. Mokataraka. In the Roboko Sunday. Never lose her muscles. Right now in the name of Jesus. Lose her muscles. In the Rabaka Shanda. Lose her cells tonight. In the name of Jesus. Lose her nerve cells tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I drive out every paralysis tonight with the blood. Every form of infirmity I curse you out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God I speak for the healing right now from the crown of her head. Let the fire of God flow through her hands. By God in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth in the name of Jesus. God I speak for life tonight in her hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the Raka Shabaradaba Kasoyo Koto Roboko Shabaradaba. In the name of Jesus. God release. Release a fresh anointing upon her. Release a fresh anointing. Let a fire God tonight burn to her body. Let a fire God tonight burn to her body. God and bring healing. Let a fire God tonight burn to her north cells. Let a fire God tonight pour to her vessels. Let a power of God tonight pour to her skin. Let a power of God tonight flow to her bones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For God to receive you heal. My God, that when she leave the altar tonight, she's gonna receive you healing God from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My God, you're an awesome God. My God, you're an awesome God. My God, you're an awesome God. Oh God, you're a mighty God. My God, you're a mighty God. You're a mighty God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet I destroy every oh God every delay tonight with the blood of Jesus every fear failure tonight I destroy it with the blood oh Lord God in the Ramaka Shandai, every deception and lies, I destroy it off of your life. Every word curse tonight, I destroy it with the blood. And I declare that no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper on every tongue that rises up against you in judgment. I condemn it with the blood of Jesus. I cut you loose right now from every generation curse in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cut you loose from infirmity right now with the blood of Jesus. God let you heal. Loose him now. Loose him, Pastor Brown. Him the rubber. Loose him. Him the robo. Shama mama. God, even as Elisha asks for a double portion of anointing. God, you give him an overflowing. Give him an overflowing. Oh God, set him on fire tonight. Set him on fire. I send forth the blood of Jesus into his spirit tonight. And I call forth him in his ministry tonight. I call him forth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the Raka Shabaradabaka Sakat. In the Raka you guys come in the middle you guys come in the middle come brats and we're gonna hold hands around you come to sorry and the robot shaman and hold his hands hold his hands we're gonna hold hands around you in the rubber cause you and the baby shaman the rubber cause you and the baby maraba baka sakata Rabaka Shabaradaba Mora Mama Kasian de Rebeka Sondoromo Marakata Labaradaba Kashandaya. My God, we send forth the blood of Jesus into the atmosphere right now, God. We clear the atmosphere over your servants tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we destroy every plan that the devil's planning for them. In the name of Jesus, every plan he's already planned, we cancel it tonight. With the blood of Jesus, we beat back every forces of darkness that will try to come up against them with the blood. Every plan to pack their body with infirmity. We destroy it tonight with the blood of Jesus. We cancel every death from over their life right now with the blood of Jesus. And we declare over them tonight that they shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Strengthen them tonight, God. Strengthen them tonight, Lord. Strengthen each and every one of them. Strengthen the pastor. Strengthen the assistant pastors. Strengthen the deacons. Strengthen the Levites and the priests. Strengthen the musicians tonight, God. In the ushers tonight, God. Strengthen the board members tonight, God. Oh, God, strengthen your servants tonight. That when they stand, God, they will stand in the power of the Lord. They will stand in the might of God tonight in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, give them the wisdom, Lord God. That they will be able to make wise decisions, God. In the name of Jesus, we speak for life in this congregation. We speak for abundant life in this congregation. Every dead word tonight, we cancel it with the blood of Jesus. And we speak for life in every ministry. We speak for life in the pastor and his family. We speak for life in the assistant pastor and his family. We speak for life tonight. Release a fresh anointing in this congregation, God. That they will go places, God. Find favor for them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Financial favor. Material favor. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. That will enable, Lord God, to stand as the head always. And not the tail. Spiritual faith in this place. Ministry, I'm going to burst forth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Give someone, give someone to come forth. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth healing I want to take place in this place deliverance I want to take place in this place restoration I want to take place in this place transformation I want to take place in this congregation salvation I want to take place in this congregation people are going to come from the east and the west God and find healing in this place they're going to find help in this place in the we call it for tonight in the name of Jesus. We call for the blessing of God that make it rich in this congregation and have no sorrow tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, my God, stretch your hands toward your pastor, assistant pastor, stretch your hands towards them in the Rama. The word of God said every two, if any two shall agree in touching anything, it shall be done in the name of Jesus. It says one shall put a thousand to flight, two is going to put ten thousand. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at your right hand, but none shall come nigh your dwelling place. Glory be to God, because the angel of the Lord is going to encamp it around you. Glory be to God, he's going to lift you up in your hands, and in case you dash your foot against the stone, the presence of God is going to remain in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, and we call for the assistant pastor and his family. We call for the pastor and his family that they will stand up in this congregation. Lord, and they will see a blessing coming forth from the east, the west, the north, and the south. In the name of Jesus, we send for the blood into their homes. We bring their wives under the blood, their children under the blood, all of their possession tonight. We bring it under the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Devil, we command you to lose your hold. Lose their family, lose their children, lose their marriage. Every plan you have planned tonight, we cancel it with the blood of Jesus. We take authority tonight. Lose the wives tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. God, we speak for healing. This family, Lord. You said a family that prays together, stays together. God, and you bring them together in prayer and intercession, in warfare and in fasting. Bring them together, God, that they will stand as mighty men and women of valor tonight, God. Make them a Joshua generation tonight, Almighty God. Make them like Nehemiah tonight, Lord, which build back the wall with one hand and the sword in another hand. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, make them a Daniel generation tonight. In the Raka Shabbatanabaya, make them God to stand like Cain tonight. Even they reach four score, God, they will still have enough strength to fight for the land. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God we bring them under the blood strengthen these men God give them the spiritual strength physical strength even as Solomon acts of the wisdom to know how to lead the people to go out and to come in my God give them wisdom tonight that they will know how to lead your people in righteousness to go out God and to come in they will know what is it to stand in the ministry no matter how the mountain get tall no matter how the valley get deep no matter how the storm comes up against them they will be able to stand and to fight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father we bring every person in this congregation tonight under the blood of your son Jesus Christ minister into every area tonight God that need healing emotional healing physical healing spiritual healing mentally healing my God marriage healing tonight family healing 
Heal our sons and our daughters tonight. Hallelujah, our mothers and our fathers tonight. Heal the grandmothers and the grandfathers tonight. My God, every person in this congregation, those at home, God, we send forth your healing. We send for the resurrection power tonight. You said, I am the resurrection and the life. If you believe in me, even though you dead, yet shall you live. Tonight, God, we speak forth life in every dead area, God. Every dead marriages tonight, God. We speak forth life. God, you said, two of us shall become one. And tonight, we call back husband, Lord, to be together with their wife. We call back the wives to be together with our husband. We call back our sons and our daughters from the east, the west, the north, and the south. And we bring back the families together, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every broken home, men, Lord, tonight, in the name of Jesus, men, every broken home, men, every broken heart, too much divorce, God, in the body of Christ. Lord, we need to stand up for righteousness. Lord, you bring them back, bring them back tonight, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. Just lift your hands and praise the Lord. Lift your hands and thank Him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You are, 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 Father, we say thank you. The 24 elders bow down and say, Holy, holy is the Lord who was and is and is to come. And Lord, we say thank you for healing tonight. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for restoration. Thank you, God, for mending broken heart. Tonight, God, giving us boldness tonight, Lord, giving us songness of mind. We subject every retaliation of the devil tonight with the blood of Jesus. My God, you dispatch angels of war. Souls of flaming fire all around your people. We give you the glory, all those that have transportation tonight. We bring under the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Every part of the vehicle, the wheel, God, the steering wheel, everything, Lord. The engine, God, we bring under the blood. Whatever possession your people have tonight, God, we bring under the blood. My God, we speak for success in every area. Lord, you take all the glory, all the honor, all the praises, and all God's people say, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 